Hey! Hello, guys! Hi, Bia! Hi, Kanth! Welcome to Pokemon. I was a little late starting stream tonight because I got taken out to eat. So horrible. What a horrible fate. Uh, and it just took a little longer than we thought. Hi, Nickel! Dang, everyone's here. Ready to do the firebase. First thing. That's our first job. We'll see if we crush it as, as we crush the electric gem or if it's, uh, more challenging. Okay. We're back in. It's nighttime. Once it becomes daytime, uh, we might go look for the doll if again over on the island. I hope y'all are having a good Saturday. You're on here as soon as you saw me log into the game. Nice. Uh, let me look at my group. I might really screw this up. You wouldn't miss the hot lady of firmness. Oh, jeez. Food was delicious. Mm -hmm. Taken out to dinner. At first it sounded like I was taken out back. No, no. Not quite. Uh, I've been playing Arceus and the controls are all different, so my apologies if I mess anything up here. Okay, who do I want to be in my party? I think the top three... I want Truman to go in the top three instead of Unicycle. Yeah, that's fine. I had... a fireness, not firmness. Nickel's like, that sounded wrong. Well, you really use your iPad to type. I want you in the party for sure. Definitely, Bia. Definitely. Uh, I had pan-fried salmon with Cajun cream sauce, and it was delicious. Uh, Quapton's up front, by the way, in case you... Because you can't really see him under the dog cam. Alright, let's go right in. We're gonna hit the fire gym right away. It was a reward for a hard day of yard work, because we had to spend a lot of time clearing up all of the, uh... The trees that got wrecked in the ice, because... It wasn't... A hard, like a really super cold freeze, but it did freeze for several days and in such a way that the precipitation and the ice built up on the trees and just broke branches off left and right. So we spent a lot of diet today doing cleanup and then we worked on building our deck, but we're going to have to do more deck work tomorrow and more tree cleanup work. It rained like cats and dogs where you are, Kanth. Wow. Free, you made it. Bree called me a little bit earlier and was like, Are you streaming? Do I have time to go get food? She was concerned. <laughs> yes, it was a cold snap. Ah, because the branches snapped off. Nice one, BF. Alrighty. Beep. That's my best static noise. Some kid lucked out beating one of our sister squads, and now he thinks he can take us on. Time to give him the boot, gang. Let's show the skate crasher what Team Star can do. If you're listening, Gatecrasher, know this. You had a fat nap. Not just a nap, but a PH fat nap. Unless you can beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss won't lift a finger to deal with the likes of you. Okay. Okay, here we go. Start right off. Come on. Go, Quapton. Gary, get him. Maybe I should have had Unicycle go instead of Gary. Get him. Get him, squad. Come on. Truman. Go to town. Aw, uh, so many little growlets. So cute. No fire puppy for me in this game, though. There's nothing there. Okay. Battle time! Yep. You napped yesterday and it felt good. It always feels good to nap. But it caused you to not be tired until hella late. So you slept in today. I wanted to sleep in, but I promised Dad we would get up at 10 a.m. and do tree trimming. So we did that. Somehow I think we're gonna do this in the time limit, you guys. I don't know. I just have a feeling. Just, uh, just a little gut instinct. That we're gonna get done in time. Pretty sure we can finish it. You're not 
totally not picking on Nickel in Discord. I sent my Pokemon the wrong way. I don't believe you. Gary, uh, just kill that other one too, okay? Thanks. Where's some more guys for me to pick on? I want a Charcadet! Hopefully I draw one soon. And my random Pokemon draw. You feel we need another minute? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, jeez. These little hound... Oh, oh. Truman! Do your job. Thank you. We're done! You're not even on Discord right now. She sent you a message. Oh. Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now! Let's see what the boss can do. All right, I'll try not to be distracted. I'll try to focus. Behave. Look at this punk chick. I still haven't really decided what voice I'm going to give her. Maybe I'll go with the... Uh... So you're the dope who picked a fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid, and I don't care. You challenged us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. She's your fave on looks alone. Prepare to get messed up! You she kicked your ass. Hopefully she doesn't repeat that performance on me! I remember Mela being pretty tough. You're challenged by Mela of Team Star! Let's go! We've got Quapton, so we should be fine. I lost my Doug Trio here the first time I was playing. Right here, right now. You're going down. Sunlight turned harsh. That was rude of it. Should I go ahead and terrestrialize Quapton? I'll wait till the... Oof. Look, that was super effective and it did nothing. This move will torch you till there ain't nothing but ash left. Oof. My super effective move did as much damage to that camera up as his not very effective move did to me. That thing has defense out the wazoo! Alright. We are gonna go ahead and terrestrialize. Aqua Cutter doesn't have any more. Because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use Quafton. For most of this? I don't have anybody else that has a Terra type that would resist fire, so we're gonna go ahead and terrestrialize. You think your duck wasn't a big duck, but still a baby? My duck's a middle school duck right now. We'll see if middle school duck can do anything here. Alright, flashy flash, let's go! See if we can do a bit better with our terrestrialized power. He put up the harsh sunlight, so it's like sapping my move's power. Nice, we landed a crit. I like that. 12% chance to crit. Oof, he lived with one HP! We're gonna have to heal. Oof, it's getting rough. It's getting rough here. We're gonna have to spend a turn on healing. Okay. Alright, we should be alright here. This, she's pretty tough. <sighs> All right, now it's the car's turn. Shh, shit! I ain't burned to a crisp just yet. Here we go. I'm already terrestrialized. 
You fought her after you did the first two gems in the first Titan. Then you hit her, it was like, WTF? Oh, geez. Clapton, do not die. I'll be very sad. Oh, he's faster than me. He burned me. You son of a bitch. I don't like that he's fat. Oh, God. Look at that! That does nothing to this guy! Okay, the harsh sunlight faded. That's good. That'll help us out. He's going to keep getting faster and faster. We're going to have to use some heals here. All right, we're going to use a burn heal. No. We're going to use a super potion first. I almost feel like I should switch out. I am going to do more damage now that the harsh sunlight faded and he's going to do less to me, which is good. Being burned sucks, though. It's okay, it's okay. Oh god, oh this is going to hurt a lot. Okay, okay, it didn't hurt as much as I thought. I'm used to overheat. Okay, he dropped his own special attack, so that's nice. See, we did more. We did more now because the harsh sunlight faded. But we're still getting burned all the time. You're already faster than me, bro. Okay, we're gonna have to use a we're gonna use a burn heal. We're gonna take some more damage, but it's fine. I should have I should have switched everybody out. Everybody's berries out for burn berries. Burn, baby, burn! No! We don't want to burn. We're against burning. He's probably going to burn me again. Yeah, you can't drop my stats. You wasted a turn. Okay. Get him. That hurt. I got burned again. That was the worst. We're just going to have to eat the burn damage. This is going to be a slow battle. We are taking it down. Okay, we need to heal again already. I remember his speed boost was just so annoying, because he just is like, ugh. I'm a water type. How can I get burned? All right, we're just going to have to keep healing. We'll do, like, a couple attacks. He's... Stop. Your, you, your speed won't go any higher. We can get off a couple attacks and heal, and I think that's safe. Yeah, I think we're safe to do one more attack here. Then we'll heal again. Flame it on the bird side. Then we're gonna do the aqua cutter. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna be okay. We're all right. We're gonna have to use a lot of heals here, but it's fine. Thanks, Darkwing. Thanks for stopping by. We're trying not to die. I think we'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah, we got this. We got this. You can't lower my stats! Get him! You just came for the puzzle, obviously. You're just like, I'm here. Where's the puzzle? <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're having a good weekend. Yes, go first with Aqua Jet and finish him off. Nice job. See, we got this. 
Just gotta know your types. Right now I'm feeling really good about having drawn the duck as the starter. The cat would have had a really hard time here. Ugh. Is this really how it's gonna end? What a hassle. I should give her a higher voice with the, with the country accent. About a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle. Pulled it off just in time. Just gotta know your types. One of the greatest problems in life. Is it? Is it really? Welcome back, Melly. I managed to get a bunch of Charcadet to evolve. That ought to be enough to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed. Is it not so, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it with the snide comments. You could be such an annoying twerp, you know that? As if you're any better, Mella. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Ordy. The girls at the academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a surly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. What? Come on! Not you too, Ari. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star. It's finally happening. And the big boss? What prey is their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked! The thrill's burning me right up! I don't know if I have good voices for everyone. Hmm. Either that or you don't care. About the types? I burned through everything I had. And now I've spluttered out. Guess this is where it ends. That Quaxwell of yours really let us have it. Look at those boots. Those are some boots. Beating me in battle is a huge deal. So here, take this star badge and be proud of yourself. Unlike Nimona, Pokemon battling is at 100% of your life. What are you even doing with your life then, Kanth? I have tree sap on my hoodie. Did not notice that from this morning. Oh, well. Team Star's fire crew defeated. We did it! Well, I'm at it. You can have this TM, too. Not like I'm gonna use it. Flame charge. Thanks. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Quaxwell. Uh, Quaxwell can't learn Flame Charge, so thanks. I'm sappy. Yep, a, a little bit. <laughs> no, I like... Mia, you're right, those boots are not made for walking. And I like the way she marches so awkwardly while she's wearing them. Look at that march. You got what you came for. Now leave me alone. <clears throat> You're Mela from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? Phew! A Charcadet? Wait! Well, if it ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? It seems he came to this base looking for you. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day when I, back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charlos wanted to visit you? Boom! <sighs> Charlos. To me, it looks like he's saying that he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would ya? 
They say Team Star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First, I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. Then what about that modified car you were motoring around in just now? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before. And what's this about a big fight? Sorry, I had to stop and take a drink. You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Starfall? No, this is the first time hearing of it. Hydrate. Okay, I'll hydrate again since Kanth used his points. How dare I be human! Ah, the tea is delicious. Do a stretch. Mm. Get comfy. Okay. Ah. Stop looking so hopeful, dogs. Go back to sleep. Huh. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. Aw, thanks, Kanth, for wanting me to feel good and not feel not good. I'm good right I'm very good right now. You're totally not eating a huge chocolate cupcake. Mmm, chocolate cupcake. I should have grabbed a brownie before I came out here. No, I'm good right now. I'm pretty good because I worked. I feel like I did a good amount of physical activity, and now I'm like in the chill, non-physical activity portion of the day. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. Always boggles your mind how many streamers literally just sit and don't move and don't drink. That's bad for you. All right. We did it. You'll feel it when you get up and your kidneys will hate you. Yes, you should drink liquids. It's good for you. Bog, it's me. I take it that Mela's star badge is now in your possession? I see. Now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Shadar squad shouldn't last long. Mela. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there again. Just thinking about how hot Mela is. Yes, time for Eevee Backpack, girl! Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. Thanks for your stolen money! TMs! Use those new TMs to strengthen your Pokémon even further. Yep, there's the hacked money! I'll have my supply unit rep meet you shortly to deliver some bonus materials, too. H hello It's me again from the supply unit. What? What the heck? H hey, stop that! S somebody help! Poor Penny. Assaulted by our bicycle dog. Dragon. Thing. Ugh, Fleck. It drooled all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? I have no idea what it is. Huh? I'm amazed you're so calm with a giant question mark of a Pokemon at your side. Uh, um, but before I forget, here's your reward. Um, your name's Bok, right? Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? Penny is not a dog person. Penny's an Eevee person, which are like little fox things. It's kind of a dog. What do you think of Team Star? Eh, they're pretty strong. 
Interesting. You know, uh, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But, uh, that's just info I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses. Someone who recruited them to the team in the first place? Huh, I don't normally talk this much. Now my throat kind of hurts. So I'm um, good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. Bye, Penny. See you later. Bye, cute girlfriend, Penny. All right. <clears throat> Let's take a look at our next destination here. We did Team Star. Uh, I say... We take a quick pop over to the island just to see if there's a doll if there. Right? Why not, right? Still trying to catch that elusive doll if over here. Uh... Uh, boop. Let's get our guy. Bye, Tentacool. Tentacool. Bye bye Get away, pig. I can't fly! I forgot I can't fly anymore. Or yet. Depending on your perspective. <laughs> But if we don't find any Dolive on here real quick, we will go on to... It was voted by popular vote last time that I go to school. So... I might go take a class or two, and then we'll go do the Steel Titan. And we should be able to catch another Pokemon in the, uh, the Steel Titan area. Nope, we just got Flablebles. Just some lots of flablebles. No Dolive or Smolive. None to be had at all. Just a lot of these little guys. Another flabebe. Flabebes for days. But none of what I actually want. We're just not gonna hit an encounter from this area, but it's fine. We have plenty of Pokemon already. I have Gary, who needs you? Okay. Let's head over to Lavencia first. I should be the one to take out Gary. Nobody's taken out Gary. Gary cannot be taken out. At least not before she evolves. Okay. See what I can buy with my new badge at the, the Deli Bird Presence. Ah! Look what we can buy! We can buy all kinds of evolution items now. Dang. Uh, I'm good, thanks. Firestone! Alright. One, one more thing. Wait, this is the sandwich shop. Uh, I wanted to go to the grocery store. Which I think is over here. Wait, I can ride my ride on. Because I did get another badge. Like, the Titan badge also counts as badges. See if I can get any new groceries. No. Same groceries. 
Muddled, hello! We're grocery shopping, but we didn't see any new groceries, so we're just gonna leave. Alright. With that established, we can head out. Actually, first, let me check my party. Yeah, uh, we should hit this Pokemon Center first. Hope you had a good Saturday, Muddled. I did so much yard work and deck building, I feel very accomplished, and now we're gonna do Pokemons. Alright, our next level target, our level that we can't go over, is 33. Thank you. So we can't get anybody ever level 33, guys. Now we're gonna head up here. So this is a new area. It's East Province Area 2. So. Oh no, this is still Area 2. But we're about to go into Area 3, which we can draw new Pokemon. So. Uh, I need to unset this as my destination. We don't want any more deaths. Are you sure? Maybe a little death would be okay. Okay, now we're in Area 3. We can roll a new encounter. Let's see what we can get. Here we go. East Province Area 3. Glimmit! I don't know where those spawn in this area. But that is a new generation Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's find out where they are. I want to see the map. Where is the map? Come on, thing. You gotta show me. Ah. Where to catch Glimmit? Okay, it's always in caves. So we gotta look in caves. But it looks like it can spawn over this whole area. Time of day doesn't matter. It'll mainly a Oh, it's another rare spawn. You son of a gun. Okay. So we need to hunt in all the caves in this area. I would like to have a Glimmit. Like, it's a good Pokemon. It evolves into Glamora. Let's see. Muddled wants all the death. All the deaths. All right. Let's go try to find a Glimmit. Why do I keep rolling things that are rare? Let's fight this guy first. Hey, you want to fight? Let's fight. Now it's battle time! Ernesto, the student. He's like 45, 50? Pig versus duck. What you got, pig? Oh, I copy Lingering Aroma. Interesting. <gasps> Did you just steal my amulet? <gasps> Can I get it back? I don't have anybody in my party that has a stealing move. You son of a bitch. I yes, yeah, so far I've only caught Pokemon in the area that I rolled them. 
Did you like legit steal my amulet or do I get it back? Because that was expensive. I have to go buy another one. This guy's a pig only trainer, apparently. It's all right, you can make me sleepy because I should knock you out in one more move. Get your pigs out of here. Okay, we still have it. Okay, he didn't permanently steal it. Okay, good, good. You're wondering if there's other locations with Dalit. Yes, I'm supposed to only catch in the area that I rolled the catch, so... Yep. Alright, so according to the map thing... Glimmits can spawn all over this area, but they spawn in caves. So we need to go look in caves. We need to find caves. This is Area 3 of the East Province. It sure is, buddy. You're right. Hold on. Crafton's down a little. I should give him a potion. Get out of here, elephant. I don't want to talk to you. See, I could have rolled the bramble gas. That thing's all over the place. But no, I rolled a glimmet. Oh, Meowths can spawn over here? I didn't realize that. Boop. Right. Or Bramblin is the baby get Bramble Gast, right? No, nope, we rolled Glimmit. So now we gotta find a Glimmit. We found a smooth rock! There's a cave up here, right? There is a cave up there. Can I get to that cave? Without being able to jump properly? Or can I do the big jump now? Oh, I can. I think there's a way up on the other side over here. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, guys. That's not as much of a jump that I might be able to get up. Oh, I don't know, maybe. It's gonna be tricky. Okay, and... Oh, I'm getting a phone call! Yo, bug! So somewhere in one of the mines that are around here, we should find the lurking Steel Titan. Rumor has it that the thing's staggeringly huge and real long. You think a Pokemon like that would be easy to spot. Wonder how it stays hidden. Maybe it's super fast? If that's the case, riding that Pokemon of yours might help you catch up. Okay, thanks, Arwen. But I really want to go up to here. Let me up. I can't even backwards jump. It's too steep. All right, we're going to have to go around. Any caves over here? Caves? Caves? Any caves? Any caves? Caves? Caves around here? There's tons of little caves around here, but I don't know where they all are. You got your points ready for this one. Oh, be as ready to name something. If I can find it, hopefully I can. We're doing a lot of exploring. I didn't explore this area that thoroughly when I was here last time. If you were putting caves around, where would you put them? Oh, that's a terrestrialized Curlia. I don't want to fight that. Hmm. Get a lot of stuff over here. Oh, there's a TM down there. Yes, I want the TM. TM, give it to me. 
Venoshock. Nice, I like that. Oh, ready to have the- oh, ready for the Russian accent where you have to do Arvin's dialogue. I see. Did not see any cave entrances down here. No, bad duck. Go away. I don't want to fight you. I'm just looking for caves. That's it. And collecting items. Okay. Uh, no, I don't see any caves down there. I see a guy to fight. I mean, there could be a cave, though. You never know. I don't know where are caves. Let's jump down here and look. Oh, I could have... Oh! Okay. I was like, what did I land on? Am I going to have to fight something? It was just a diglet. There's a guy I can fight. Next star boss should be a Scottish or an Irish accent. I could do that. I'm going to come back and fight that trainer as soon as I make sure there's not any caves over here. I don't see any. Just see a lot of elephants. All right, let's fight this guy. Harsh landscapes are the best. Harsh landscapes like this are best for good quality training. Ah, I see. Herminio, the black belt. Herminio? That's quite a name. What level are you, Herminio? He slapped me! <gasps> he knocked off my amulet! Oh, don't kill me! Oh, that hurt a lot. Uh, we're still faster, so we should be fine. I'm gonna use Aqua Jet. Cause, no, I'll use- it should be fine. I'm faster than him. He hasn't done any stat boosting moves. It's fine. We got it. We're good. There we go. Very nice. Quafton leveled up. So harsh. All right. Let's look at my boxes, actually. Well, first, let's heal Quafton. That's pretty important. Uh, I want to pull out uh, Roadkill. And Evolve him. I forgot. We bought his evolution item, so... We should do that. Alright, we're going to Evolve Roadkill. Let's go! Now he's a big roadkill. Your roadkill evolved into Scovillain. The green head has turned vicious due to the spicy chemicals stimulating its brain. Once it goes on a rampage, there is no stopping it. Alrighty. Um, yes, maybe? Maybe? 
spicy extract, sharply boosting the target's attack stat and harshly low. It, so it boosts my attack two stages, but it lowers my defense two stages. It's like an evil grass type do grass fire type do duo. Yes, I don't like this move. I know it's his signature move, probably, but uh, it's a risky move, and I don't like it. Uh, yes, we can absolutely learn Flamethrower. That's a great move. Even though... Let's forget Razor Leaf. I will learn Flamethrower. I should have seen if Deli Bird. I didn't check and see if they sell nature mints yet. Oh well. Hmm. All right, we're gonna put. I'm going to swap booty back out. There we go. Uh, that's the squad for now. We'll start leveling Roadkill up a bit. To keep up with the team. Okay, I think we're good. Alright, let's go hunt for some caves. I found a potion. While we kind of mosey towards the Steel Titan. Did I fight you? No. Oh, look at that Hariyama with all of its little babies. It's baby Makuhitas. Wanna fight? Do you think people can go hiking in mines? I sure hope so, because I'm about to go hiking in a mine. I hope you don't have water absorb. We're about to find out. Yep, he has water absorb. Okay. Thanks for having water absorb, you son of a gun. Oh, we got a flinch! Nice. But I'm asleep. Why am I asleep? Don't like that. Wake up, Quafton! Ow. Quafton, wake up! I'm not gonna switch out, so that's fine. You can throw out those toxic spikes. It's not a problem. Wake up, Quafton! Thank you. Good boy. It looked like, I know, the animation for that move was very dramatic, Bia. And then it took, like, four hit points off me. We're good! Yay! Guess you wouldn't know, huh? Okay, where am I going? I've been this way. I need to go back over this way. Head this direction. Whoa, look out, Growlithe! Look out, Growlithe! We're going fast! We're gonna hit a Pokemon! Okay. Did I look down here for caves? No, I did not look down in this one. Uh... No, don't see anything. I thought there were some, uh, gimme gold coins down here, but I don't hear any. Mm-hmm. There's another trainer.
I'm just gonna have to walk under here. It's much easier than trying to get the bicycle under here. There we go. Oh, I hear. I hear one here. Bia says I missed one. Sorry. Where is he? I hear him. Oh, he's up on top of this thing. I don't know if I can jump the bicycle up there yet. Do I still only have the basic jump? Yes, because I got the boost and the swim are my only two Titan abilities. Oh, I can still get him from down here. Okay. Alright, let's fight you. Want to help my newly evolved Pokemon with some target practice? Why did you evolve? What'd you got, Dario the Pokemaniac? Gyarados! <sighs> wow! I don't have anything that that's that great against Gyarados. We'll try this. He doesn't resist this, at least. Dang, that that's um, that didn't hurt you that much. We'll bring in Steve. We'll swap. He is scary face. No. He's gonna go first. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Steve, get him! Yeah, there we go. Double super effective electric move. Good job, Steve. You did a good job. My Pokemon's so newly evolved, it doesn't know how to battle. Aw, your Pokemon did fine. Get away, elephants. Uh, nobody asked you. It's amazing how Magikarp evolves into Gyarados. I wish I could evolve into a Pokemon, too. Okay. In Pokemon World... This is just throwing this question out there. In Pokemon World... Do you think there are the Pokemon version of furries that dress up as Pokemon? What do you think? I think I can go over here and drop down into that cave, maybe? Uh, I might need to go up one more level, but it should be pretty doable. Did you see that Electro just blew itself up? Okay, here we go. I can get down from here. Do I not remember the old Maniacs? I guess not. Did they used to dress in the outfits like that? In Pokemon World, humans and Pokemon used to crossbreed. Wow. Why are there so many elephants here? Good god, that's a lot of elephants. Thank you for the gimme gold coin. Alright, let's go look in this cave here. For what we're looking for. It says it's usually on, like, the walls of the caves, so we gotta look closely. I did not see one. Oh, we're down in this area. Okay. Wait, this isn't the Titan area, is it? No, Titan area is further on. There are people who dress as Pokemon in our world. I mean, good point. There totally are. What's in here? I can't get in that cave. So small. I think the Titan ends up coming in here at some point. But this is an area I was going to look for that has a bunch of different caves, so... 
How come I saw items in here and then there were no items in here? That seems like a ripoff. You guys saw that too, right? Those items disappeared. What the heck? Okay. The wiki! Did they have pictures of the, the Pokemon Pokemaniacs? I can't get up to that level this way. I have to go around, I guess. Can I get up here? <sighs> Not quite. Go all the way around. Rude. Maybe. Is that maybe or is that yes, definitely? There's something up there. Oh. You're right there. Okay. I want to get up there! Let me get up there! There's something up there and I want it. I can't get up there yet. The young goose. I don't want you. Now I'm gonna have to fight this young goose. It has a newer one as the main, and then an example from the manga. Oh, under appearance, he has the rest. It has the rest of them. Great. Get out of here, young goose. I've not seen a glimmer, and that's what we're going for here. Have we checked all the caves? There's one up and over there that I don't think I've been to. We'll make a couple circuits to make sure we checked all the caves. That's not the one I came out of, is it? No, it's definitely not. Okay, okay, all right. This is the one, another one that I can't get up, huh? Glitch jump for the win, baby! I don't know, I keep rolling low odds Pokemon. I don't know why. I didn't mean to. It just happens. I'm gonna have to fight this young goose to get out of the cave, aren't I? Oh, I hear another Gimme Gold coin. Gotcha. Where am I now? I'm getting lost everywhere. I'm gonna go back through and check those caves again. There's a sparkle on the ceiling, but I don't think that's actually anything exciting. It's a hidden talent. 
I just let the odds generator tell me what I should get, and it says you should get something that's hard to find. Because it just makes you take longer. Uh, how is my squad doing? Let's fight this guy with Truman. Go! He likes Steel-type Pokemon. We should be good on that. I'll show you how strong and sturdy Steel-type Pokemon can be! Can Oliver the Worker! You would try throwing a Pokemon at the shiny. We'll go back in and look again. Sludge! It's not very effective. Varum is steel and poison, so ground is like double super effective. We did it! Did you already know how to get around steel type Pokemon's sturdy strength? I sure did. Steel types don't have all that many weaknesses, and they can't be poisoned. They get kapowed by fighting type moves, though, plus fire type moves melt them down. But ground type is what I have, so ground type is what we shall do. Technically, I have ground and fighting type, so I should be fine. Uh, if I see the sparkly again, I will throw a Pokeball at it. I'm not seeing it right now. See, it's kind of up there. I don't... I don't know. I don't think that's anything. I think it was just lighting. Yeah, I didn't see anything either. There's another Salandit down there. Salan, Sala, the still, still guy. I want him. Let's go look back in the other caves down here. The main one I came in is where? It wasn't one of those two. Where's the one that I came in? I mean, we'll check those two first, though. I didn't look at the odds. I just saw it said it was low odds to spawn. So we'll see, I guess. I got this to work on the other one. Let me up! It won't let me up. My bicycle disappeared. Nothing over here. Just that young goose again. Hop down a level. There's the cave that I came in over there. And I think that one is the biggest one, so... I should honestly go do the Steel Titan just to get the jump level up. I didn't see really any Pokémon in this cave. There's just a tunnel. Whoa! 
That ghastly scared the heck out of me. Hi. Can I leave the cave? Sir. Can I go? Okay, thanks. Oh, look, the Skimmy Gold coin came back already. Give me five coins that time. Nice. Okay, I already explored over here pretty thoroughly. I think. Uh, let's go check out what's over here. If I can get there. We're just having a good old time exploring the world of Pokemons. I fought you. Oh, that's the cave that I went in. Okay. Oh, wait. If I go in here, this may be the way that I need to go to get to the place that I was going to go check out. <sighs> Backwards jump! Go! Okay, I don't see any Pokemon in here. On the walls or the ceiling or whatever. I have to fight the young goose. Why are you always blocking me? Haha! <laughs> I criticaled you. Get out of here, you dang weasel. You're the weasel that no one likes. Truman is such a good. Truman wants to learn Sludge Wave. Ooh, let's take a look. Ninety-five power. But it's a special attack. And Truman... ...is a physical attacker. No, we're not gonna learn Sledge Wave right now. No, I don't want to fight the Ghastly. What I want to do is get up out of this little hole. Where's the gimme ghoul? Oh, down there. I see him. Alrighty. Go out over here and look for some more caves. Oh, this is a hard trainer. I don't want to fight the harder difficulty trainer right now. I wanted to go look at what's in this area over here. And look for more caves. And get all these items. Oh look, a revive, the most useful item. Ah, uh, there is another cave over here. I knew it. Ah, uh, that Voltorb's gonna... That, uh... Not Voltorb? Yeah, he's gonna blow himself up. Look at him go. Doofus. Okay. Let's go look in this cave. There's nothing in here except an item. A sunstone. Okay, I mean, that's a nice item. I'm getting lots of stuff. What I'm not getting is the Pokemon that I rolled for this area. Oh, there's the... I haven't been to that Gimme Gold Tower? 
I have it, but it looks like the Gimme Gold Tower is right next to the Titan, so... I should really follow the road over because there's like a midway stop point that I should check. But it's fine. What is with these weirdly shaped, like, three section, three leaf clover areas? Spikes. Just regular spikes. Like, look at the map. Look at these three little, do little blips. Like, who did this? Why did they do it? Let's go over here next. Oh, there is a cave down there that we can check. Okay, excellent. Oh, I thought saw that light and I thought it was a weird some weird Pokemon that was like stuck part way out. Very weird. But no, it's not. Okay. Let's take a look in here. Oh, this cave looks very promising. Let us explore it. This looks like it might actually have some creatures in here. Okay, that end goes out over here. Didn't see anything. Let's go check the other branch. Going to lurk and lay down. Stepdad's still recovering from surgery and you gotta take care of him today. You'll be listening for the time to use your points. Okay. I'll try not to have any deaths while you're gone, Bia. Don't fall asleep now. <gasps> what did I just get? There was a lizard in the roof of this cave. Interesting. There's lizards in the roof of the cave, you guys. Uh, look out for that. <gasps> I see it! That's what we need! Right there! Look, this is it! We got it! We don't got it yet, but we're gonna get it. I don't have any quick balls. Uh, let's try a great ball. This is a glimmit! He broke free. I can't use bulldoze on this thing because it's... Poison and rock type. So, uh, we're gonna do a yawn. Pointed stones, so now I'm gonna get punished if I switch. Go to sleep! I don't know if I should risk a poison jab. It's gonna be not very effective. I think we risk a... Should we risk a poison jab or just let it go to sleep? We'll, we'll risk a poison jab. Don't kill it, Truman! Okay, good job. Good job, Truman. Wait till you see what it turns into. Okay, it's asleep. We should be able to hopefully catch it now. There we go. Perfect. We got it! We got the Pokemon that I rolled on my Pokemon draw! What should I name it, you guys? 
glimmets toxic mineral crystals. Look just like flower petals. This Pokemon scatters poisonous powder like pollen to protect itself. Yes. We're naming it. It's a male. What should we name it, you guys? Bella. It's a girl. We're definitely... Also, I'm never naming anything in the world Bella, just so you know, Bia, because it's like the most common dog name, and I am sick and tired of the name Bella. <laughs> no, no offense at your name suggestion, but I'm never naming anything Bella in my life. <laughs> Glitter. Satan. Bright eyes. Glitter, the poison of the craft world. You have a cat named Bella. It's a boy. Okay, well, that's at least a more subversive name. Subversive use of the name Bella. Hi, Misha. Hello. We are naming this Glimmet that I have caught. I wouldn't be opposed to Glitter. Glitter the Glimmet gets in everything. Satan Onion. Dogwood? Why on earth would we... Why? Where? No, oh, because it's poison, I guess. I wouldn't be opposed to glitter. Honestly, we could name it Onion. as like a Steven Universe reference. Onion was very unsettling, and this Onion is also unsettling. What do you think? Glitter or Onion? Misha said you like it that. You like onion? Do I have to do a poll for names? Nobody wants to use their points. I made naming Pokemon cost less points, by the way, if anybody was checking. It should be cheaper now. I'm leaning towards onion. Oh! Can't use the points! Nickel says he blocked that kid from my memory. Kant used his points. That means we get to use Kant's name. We'll name it Susan. Susan. No, okay, Susan it is. It's a boy named Sue now. Now we got a boy named Sue and a girl named Gary. Oh, you're okay with Susanian? That's what I'm naming it then. Susanian. That's its name now. <laughs> Susanian is what that looks like. Susanian. Okay. Uh, we can go to the box. It's fine. Go to the box, Susanian. Rock and poison is going to be coming handy sometime, I'm sure. Uh, this little save lies in my way. I don't care. Oh, I did want to go check out the other part of the cave, though, even though we've now caught Susanya, and so we're done. Oh, there's a train. A trainer in here! I better go ahead and fight this trainer, because if I don't, I'm never going to remember that he's here. Uh, we'll put Gary up front, though. Technically, I should put Quapton or Steve up front, but they're both slightly hurt. So, you know. We'll put Gary up front. Well, let's look at our boxes. I want to look at our new our new party, our new team member. Suzanian, level 26. Let's look at your summary. Uh, she's asleep right now. Or he, he's asleep right now. I've already started doing it. Uh, toxic debris scatters poison spikes at the feet of the team opposing team when the Pokemon takes damage from physical moves. So Suzanian basically automatically uses toxic spikes. Oh, I need to treat all the pups. Hold on. While I'm in the pause screen, we'll treat the pups. All oh, puppies! Do you want a cookie? You guys want some cookie? Yeah? Sit? Bitsy, that was very good. Great job. Delilah. Very nice as well. 
Millie, get on the camera. Come here. There you go. Good girl. What did we name it? Muddled. It's got. It was named Sue's Onion. Because it looks like an onion. So now it's a boy named Sue. Zonion. Okay, uh, your special attack is better than your regular attack, and you have a special attack up nature. Much appreciated. Like that very much. Uh, okay. Uh, let's check your moves. Venno Shock. You don't have any rock-type attack moves. I don't like that, but we'll change moves if we ever put you on the team. Okay, cool. Let's fight this guy. My baby's due any day now. I gotta get serious. How serious are you getting? Cristobal, the worker. Mm. Hypno? Really? I'm glad I took Truman out of the front. And I'm glad I switched in Gary. Let's go, Gary. Your type coverage is the best. I didn't do any stat changes, Hypno. Hypno, you better not know Focus Blast. You better not be a weird Focus Blast, Hypno. Nope, you're good. Get him, Gary. You're the best done sparse there is. Good girl. Gary's been poisoned! No! Gary! This guy just has the hypno, right? We did it! I wish I could have gotten a bit more serious in that battle. The windchill record was hit in New Hampshire. What? Minus 108 degrees Fahrenheit? I can't even imagine how cold that is, Can. That is ridiculous. When my kid is old enough, I'll be sure to send them to the same school you go to. Thanks. We'll teach them how to be a pro. Battler! Oh, Jesus Christ! How am I getting out of this cave? Hi. Hi, guys. Um. Hey. Hey. Sableye, don't you. No, don't you do it. No, don't you do it. Um. Yeah, let's fly. Well, I can fly out, but I'm gonna have to fly all the way back to here. Um... That guy's too close for me to have a picnic. Everything's gonna fight me here! Okay, we're just gonna have to leave. I do not want to do 20 Pokemon battles to get out of this game! That was way too many guys. That was ridiculous. I turned around and like freaking 20 Pokemon were staring at me. Okay, uh, that's fine. Let's go ahead and heal up while we're here. Yes, we got our encounter for Area 3, so we're good there. Thanks, Pokemon Center lady. You can't wait for that to happen in Arceus. Listen, you can still fast travel in Arceus. <laughs> but yes, running around the map in Arceus is much more dangerous. Uh, let's head to... Okay. Let's get down to business. I'm going to head to this steel raid over here. 
And then we're going to do the Titan. And then we're going to go do some classes. Okay, here we go. Business. Uh, first, I need to change my party, actually. I wasn't paying attention, I was reading chat. Turn around and see about a dozen pony talk coming right at you. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. That's right. Except we're gonna defeat the gyms. Yeah, Arceus is just much scarier to run around the map, for sure. I've been playing it the past few days trying to finish up my Pokedex and uh still scary! Grab that item. Oh, I should have sold my revives while I was at the Pokemon Center. Oh, well. Should be fine. Let's do this Steel-type raid. It's a Rel... Okay. <laughs> we're gonna use Roadkill, and then we're gonna feed Roadkill whatever candies we get from this. I think this is the the dung beetle, the Relcor, Relor, whatever it's called, to defeat the Taros. Maybe. Whew. Are we gonna get to do the raid? Here we go. Let's go! Oh, I should have looked and seen if I could buy nature mints. Wow, great job. Yeah, ground just does neutral damage to me, so it's fine. Nope, don't catch. Although this would be a cool Pokemon to ru to roll in this run. We're not catching him. We just, we've... Okay, we got one, two, three small candies and two extra smalls. That's pretty good. What I discovered doing raids with Kanth, yeah, is uh, I'm very good at identifying the Pokemon silhouettes and Kanth is very not good. But it's fine. I'm good at playing, who's that Pokemon? You get... Uh, I think you actually get two of these. No, I didn't mean to give you all four! Oh well, at least you're... Well, you're level 25 now, so that's not bad. Haven't played it since last weekend. You do a bit of gold grinding. You spent all your monies! Headbutt. It is a physical attack move. Uh, let's... Yeah! Headbutt has more power. Let's forget Bite and learn Headbutt. You're down to only 900,000. You're gonna have three small candies. Extra small candies, I mean. Yeah, that didn't grow you by very much. Okay. I would just put him in the lead, but there's not a lot that's... Actually, yeah, let's put you in the lead. I forgot there's a quick button for that. What level is this guy? 28? 
Hmm. We should still be able to take you. You're steel and dark. Roadkill might die here. No, we one shot at him. Excellent. That's what we want to see. Trying to get Roadkill up a bit. Oh, there's a whole flock of them. And a lot of items. Oh, this is the rare bone pile. Oh, we got a free Firestone. I guess I didn't need to buy one. Oval Stone. That's for evolving uh, Chansey. Don't need that right now. Hello, Hariyamas. Let's fight you. Everybody's at level 30 now except Roadkill. All the other Pawniards disappear. Okay. Back to the map. We are going to head to the Titan now. So we'll go... We'll set a road mark right here. Or a landmark right here. Get back to the road and then we'll follow it to the Titan. Uh, who do I want to make the lead? Steve, you want to be in the lead? Steve hasn't been in the lead for a while. We'll put Steve in the lead. Nothing bad ever happens when I put my palm on out in front. For sure. For sure. I'm just glad we actually managed to catch that Glimmet without it taking 200 years. Susanian the Glimmet. Level 80 Rayquaz that runs away after killing lead Pokemon. It's not gonna happen. We're fine. We're good. Everything's good. The only issue with having Steve out in front is there's a lot of ground type Pokemon here. But unlike in Arceus, uh, I can run if I accidentally start an encounter I didn't mean to start without having the other Pokemon attack me first. It's a small child! Gosh, it was amazing! Oh my gosh! I saw something amazing! Wanna know what it was? What was it, small child? Snover? Do I have a Pokemon for you? It started to snow, that's fine. Get him, Steve. You're part ice. You're weak to fighting. Steve has loaded dice. It's a bad combination for you, little girl. Nice. Oh, she's all sad now. I saw an amazing Pokemon right here! That little girl only had seven dollars. I feel a little bad about beating her up now. A huge Pokemon! Like one of those big towers in Lavincia? Came right out of the ground! It looked just like the giant Diglett statues they have in some other region. Oh, okay. Thanks for the heads up, little girl. The 
There's more Meowths in this area than I remembered. I didn't remember seeing a lot of Meowths until later. A tunnel! Alright, we're at the Steel Titan area, basically. But I want to go... I thought there was like a... I thought there was a Pokemon Center somewhere along this path. I'm gonna go further along this path and go to Zapapico. Or at least try to find the... This is the right way, right? I'm not being a doofus. Yeah. Because I think there's another, like, on-the-road Pokemon Center down here that I want to find. I'm going back towards the little girl. I knew it! I have such a bad sense of direction! Why are there so many elephants there? There's elephants everywhere! Good god. So many elephants. There's a rufflet. Yeah, this little tent up here is actually like a little stop. Stopping zone. It's your friendly traveling Pokemon Center, here to heal your Pokemon. Pretty dry and dusty out here. Don't you get dried out now. Thanks. But this doesn't set... Oh, okay. I guess we're fighting this now. Hi. Let's try a dig. There's a gimme goal somewhere around here that I'm going to grab after this. Oh, you used sludge. Uh, too bad. I'm dugged. Steve, get him. Good job. She healed them with all the potions that she has in her back pocket. I don't know. Points for booty. I don't think this is actually like a fast travel point, though. There's another guy by the by the fence here. Or the sign. Take that. Grab this. Yeah, I'm gonna go on to Zapapico so I can set a fast travel point. And then we'll go fight the Titan. Because I don't think... If I look on the map now... Oh, I can fly there! Okay, well in that case... Do I still want to go to Zapapico? Um... Probably. This is all East Province Area 3. Until I get to Tag Tree Thicket, I can't catch anything else here. Yeah, we'll still go to Zapapico. Because I'm eventually maybe going to have to go to Zapapico, depending on what Pokemon I catch. <laughs> Sounds weird, but there's an evolution thing for a certain Pokemon that you can only do in Zapapico. Unless I can grab some more items. Okay. Free, like when the evolved Pokemon has a small group of their kids with them. I'm gonna roll. Ro uh, oh, I almost hit that guy. You'd want to catch them all to keep the little family. Aw. Bree's like, but the children, they'll have nobody. Let's fight this guy. Everything here's so rugged. Seems rough and rugged places like this attract a lot of hardy Pokemon, huh? You're a student, Lorenzo? Okay. Finny!
Neon. Interesting choice for this area. But let's get him. Go on, Steve. I've been very lucky with Switch. I swear I have not looked up any of these trainers. I, like, barely fought any of them. Kids started watching a solid B-tier anime in Club this week, and it echoes that sentiment in Episode 2. Ah. Quillfish? Uh, we can keep our current Pokemon. That's fine. We did it! Take that, Lorenzo the student. Wow, the traders are hardy too! Sure are. All right. Thunderstone. Oh, there's a little Gothita over here. All right, let's hit the Pokemon Center up. Ah, uh, sure. We'll heal the Pokemon. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, not Nurse Joy, but just a regular nurse. Hey, did I find enough people yet? Yes, I did! Give me the prize. Punching glove. This protective glove boosts the power of the holder's punching moves and prevents direct contact with targets. I don't think I have anybody that does really punching moves. Okay. What kind of shops are in Zapapico? There's not any showing up on the map, but I know there's shops here. I can see a sandwich shop right here. Give me your new recipes. Thanks. Thank you. I don't think I need any sandwiches right now. I'm good. All right. Oh, we somehow activated both Pokemon Centers in Zapapico. That's nice. Okay. Let's head back over here, and we'll go fight the Steel Titan. Titan of Steel. Uh, this way. Yep, huh? Uh, I have Steve out in front, right? Steve should be fine. Unless there's a ground-type move, then Steve is not fine. To be honest, okay, what have I got here? Steve, Gary, and Truman, between all of them, should be able to handle it. Steve, if there's a ground type, I love this, this Titan's fun. If there's a ground type move, Steve will take super effective, but he should be okay for one hit. Can I go to the Gimme Ghoul Tower over here without triggering the Titan battle, or should I just... No, nope, I'm getting sidetracked. You know what? I said I was going to do the Titan battle first. Lots of rocks over here. Just a whole pile of rocks. <gasps> there he is! Look at his dumb little... His big face. Look at him! He's like a little Pac-Man head! Nom. 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 Hey, buddy. Go get him! He is 
so derpy! Fight him with a ghost, it'd be ironic. Look at his little- why does he have little legs, though? He doesn't need those leggies. Look at him go. Uh, arm thrust! Smack him, Steve! Oh, we critted on that one! We're not done yet! Loaded dice. What an item. Are they legs or are they- Oh, they might be his lungs! Cause they- that's true, they come out when they're like- when he like yells. It's funny, we can't kill him in this first encounter, but we're just gonna keep smacking him. We've killed him like six times by now. Steve! Steve, it's enough! Steve! Those loaded dice are kill killer, though. No, look, he's using him as legs to climb down his little tunnel. Steve is ready for murder. Let's go after him! Quick! Down the tunnel! Oh, wait. Let me be safe. We're all about safety here. Let's go after him! Down the tunnel! Bam! He's getting out the Herba Mystica! Oh, he's eating the- or he's eating it! Bog! You managed to pin down the Titan? That's the Lurking Steel Titan? It's, uh, well... It sure is long! Oh, Nickel came in with the Redeem on Bia's behalf. I think our little friend might be even feistier now, after eating those herbs. We're gonna need to do this together, Bog! I was gonna say yes. Alright, here we go! Here we go! We fight Lurking Steel Titan! Steve! I believe in you. Steve, get him! Punch him! Give him a smack! You just missed the whole fight because a mosquito fly attacked you! Oh no! Yeah, it's just the halfway point, Bree. We still have to give him more smacks. Lots of smacks. Oh, Mosquito Hawk. Okay. Okay, he's throwing out Sandstorm. That's not ideal. Confuse him! Oh, good job. Good job, Toad School. That is good job. Yes, we will double hand slap the worm. That's our thing. Get him, Steve. Oh, you critted on the first smack. We will kill him now for sure. Oh, you killed your own mosquito hawk, Bree. I am proud of you, too. Because you are a big bug phobic. Look at. We smacked him with two s the give listen, giving the loaded dice to Steve was such a good move. Having him hit like four or five times every time with that smack. It's so good. Imagine if we only hit two times. Look at how proud Steve is of himself. He is like, I did a good job, Mom. I am the best. Good job, Steve. You defeated the Titan Earthworm. You want a Steve. Bree wants a Steve plush. Plush of Steve. 
I'm su- I would be surprised if they did not make a flush of palm oat because it's cute. But they might only make palm me like the baby thief, you know? I will not die like my younger brother. Oh, poor Franklin. You think the Pokemon Center will have them soon? I don't know. I have no idea. We did it, Bog. Way to go, little buddy. Did you get a good look at its face, though? I didn't expect a Titan to be such a little cutie. <laughs> eh, you're, fu you're funny, Arvin. I mean, yes, it is very cute. I bet if we go in here, we'll find more of that Herba Mystica I'd ate before. Let's go find it before that thing can regroup. Let's go get it. Let's feed it to your dog. Let's feed it to your dog. I am ready. I'm sure there's some here too. Look, there's that Pokeball! You see it? It's in the top middle of the screen! Look, that Pokeball is in the scene for stupid reason again. I think this entire game is held together by the one Pokeball that appears sometimes in cutscenes mysteriously. Without that Pokeball, entire game collapses. I knew it! I spy Herba Mystica! You and Arvin found the Salty Herba Mystica. Another successful search! We're on a roll! Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Well... Looks like so far, only the starters. Ah, uh, no palmy plushy for Bree, sorry. Well, apparently, Salty Herba Mystica helps with aching hands and feet. Good for neuropathy and numbness. When you've got muscle weakness, it supposedly builds up strength again. This will definitely help my boss stiff feel even better. Come on, Bog. Let's get some food going. Ah, uh, you could get Bree a gla grass kitty plushie, but they're sold out. Oh no! Yar, yeah, hacha! Sorry to keep you waiting. Here you go, another of your favorite old Arvin sandwiches. And it comes with special Titan badge. The Pokemon me might not recognize it, but I hope you appreciate it all the same. Yeah, we did it. We are pretty great. Ooh. <sighs> Hi, Miraidon. Yes, you can have some sandwich. Yes, this sandwich is for my bicycle dog. Figured this might happen. Don't worry. I made extra this time for that brute of yours. Yes, I will give sandwich to Miraidon. You think, Ar? What makes you think? That glowing ragweed is the herb of Mystica. I want to be a wildlife chronicler in the Pokemon world. Easiest job in the world. Their level of scientific inquiry, like the standards, is not very high. Aha. Uh -huh. But Arvin thinks he is a brute can't. So, uh, you know. Here's your sandwich, buddy. You have a nice little sandwich, okay? Come on out, my bustiff. Got some for you too, bud. He breaks the bread so cleanly, and the ingredients also break, so... Arvin can kiss your ass! Come on, Kent! He has trauma in his backstory. He has no parents. He has a rough life. He has raised himself from scratch, this kid. That's it. Small bites. Small bites. <laughs> Nicholson, what is that bird? It's the pigeon Pokemon. What's a pigeon? I don't know. <laughs> yes, that is so when they have descriptions like that, where they're like, this is the worm Pokemon, but you don't have worms. You only have Pokemon in this world. What is so crazy? 
Power up time! We get the big jump now! Yay! Come on, at least bother to taste it before you swallow it right down, would you? <sighs> this brute seems to be benefiting from the herbs too, I guess. In its own sort of way. Oh yeah, for the forget bug. Take another look at this. There's always a titan Pokemon near the Herba Mystica. Herba Mystica, when we find them, right? You feel for him, but it doesn't give him the right to call Miraidon a brute. Ah, oh, can't is attached to Miraidon. Like the book says, it's not like big old Pokemon just happen to like these herbs. It's actually something in the herbs that's making the Titan so big and strong. When we're done with this, Arvin could have giant Mabostiff. Just saying. The biggest dog ever. Except its name would be Clifford. So, does that mean a titan's lair isn't really some kind of treasure hoard or whatever? It's just a pantry where the titan keeps its food. Nickel, you mean Miraidon is essentially a pack horse and it's very pushy? Kind of fits. Yeah, I mean... I would affectionately call a horse a brute. Oh, you done with your sandwich, my bostiff? Ruff? You... You heard that, right, Bog? My bostiff just woofed, right? Ah, uh, yeah, I heard it. Right! I'm not imagining things! See? See that? I knew I wasn't just hearing things. Oh, Mabosif! Who's my best bud, huh? Who's the best of boys? You are! Yes, you are! <laughs> it's... It's been so long since I heard that wolf. Mabostiff is definitely getting better. Ever since I teamed up with you, good things keep happening. But we've still got two more herbs to go. Hope you'll stick it out until we're done. Ah, we are fixing the doggo. Not going to lie, you thought Mabostiff was going to evolve primate style. So you thought it was going to be like the ghost dog, Nickel, at the end. Hello, Bog. This is Turo. Oh wait, am I still in Russian accent time? I detect that Moraidon has regained more of its original, original power. While you are riding upon it, it seems it can now jump higher if you press and hold the B button. It is dark type, Nickel, not ghost type. Can't that never occur to you, but it would have been cool. Whacked, but cool. It would have been kind of, kind of a bittersweet ending of the story. Okay, thanks. <clears throat> Alright, I think we are done with Russian accent time now. I did all of Arvin's scene in Russian accent. Should be good. Please continue to take good care of Moridon. Okay, bye, Turo. Talk to you later. Now, see, yeah, we're back in this area here. Okay, our next stop... is the Cascarafa gem, which is the water gem. Way over here. So we can get something in West Province area three, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if we can get to West Province area three. We have to go around the desert, I think, to get into here. So, but we could get something in the desert for sure. And maybe in the ocean over here. And maybe West Province, too. Uh, 
How many bits to make Arvin Russian forever? What would have been more interesting instead of the usual everything's fine and there's a rainbow style conclusion? Yes. How much bit? I don't know. I don't know. Um, five, five dollars and Arvin is Russian forever. I guess. Two, two, that doesn't have to be five dollars. Two dollars to make R Arvin Russian forever. All right. I'm going to do some raids over here in West Province Area 1. So I'm going to go to this Pokemon Center, and we're going to hit up all these raids on our way to the to Kaskarafa. Sound like a plan? Let's do it. Wait, no! I shouldn't have done that! We're going to fast travel back where I just came from. Because I didn't hit the Gimme Ghoul Tower in that area. How are we ever going to evolve? <laughs> Bree did it. She was like, you got it. Arvin is forever Russian now. Okay. Uh... <laughs> no, you double paid! Kant, would you make it like to make another character Russian forever? <laughs> Thank you for the 500 bits. You guys crazy. Arvin is permanently Russian now. You got it. Oh, uh, where's the Gimme Cool Tower? Right here. More! More, Arvin! You just make him extra Russian. Double Russian! Oh no! Thank you for the 100 bits, Nickel! Y'all, you guys are crazy. Did I already fight you? I didn't, but I don't think I need to fight you technically. But maybe I should fight you? I'll put Quapton back in the lead. I gotta learn some Russian slang. Uh, Dosvidanya. Hydrate? Oh, there was a hydrate up there. Sneaking in. Okay. Let me get a drink. Look, there's the normal size earthworm. We could have drawn that guy for our Pokemon in this area. I have done a hydrate. I'm crunching the ice right now. Nickel says, if I don't hear the vodka and Kremlin in your voice, next time Harvin's in screen, you demand a refund. <laughs> okay, I will make him as Russian as possible. You got it, guys. Hi, AJ. You've been lurking around. Are you a fan of sad songs? Or not so much. My personal opinion is, they're okay, I guess. All right, let's fight. Let's fight. What do you got? Liddy the musician. Lydia the musician. You sent out Cricketune. Oh, you guys, you guys have a weird battle cry. Don't like that. Whoa! Five tier one subscriptions. Thank you so much. Thank you for all the, the five gifting subs! 69 Hype Train! Oh yeah! That's crazy! Thank you so much! Aw, oh, 69 gone now. Well, we made the Hype Train level 3! Wow! Oh wait, I have to sing this. It's a sad, sad loss. In a sad, sad world, tra la la la. <laughs> Why are all the musicians like country western singer style? Wow, 400 that, more biddies! Wow! Thanks, you guys. Crazy hype train! Hype, hype! Let's go get 
That booty. Look at Bree doing all the cheering. So crazy! It's slowly... Streamlabs alerts is slowly catching up. I'm trying to look at the chat and smash my face into this ladder at the same time. Yay! Woo woo! I feel so showered with love right now, AJ. So showered! Aw, oh, thank you, Ken! This tower is one of the more straightforward ones to climb up. Oh, we got a medium candy. Thank you for the biddies! Wow! We're not even doing anything exciting! But I'm so excited! Thank you so much, guys! Okay, uh... Wait a minute. Who do I need up front? Nope. Why do I keep hitting the up button to try to look at my Pokemon party? Okay. Woo, woo. Uh, you know what? Let's put roadkill up front. Gimme goals aren't usually very hard to kill. Oh, let's get him. Whoa, Ken, thank you for the five tier one subscriptions. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, we got to 100%? What? What level is this hype train now? What? Feed the choo-choo! Level 3 complete! We murdered the Skimmy Gold with the power of hype train! Give me those coins for booty. Booty needs them. 50. Let's take a look at our booty progress. We gotta check that booty. Bree! Thank you so much for the five tier one subscriptions! You guys are too nice. You're just too nice to me. Uh, okay, this is what I want to look at. 407. Oh, we're not even halfway there yet. Smoochies to you too, Bree! Mwah! 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 <sighs> I'm all flushed now because of all the hype train. I gotta fan myself. Ho! Huh, huh. Ho! Thank you, guys. I've forgotten what I was doing. I just came over here to fight this chemical, right? I'm so flustered now. Let's do a spin. Whoa! Dizzy! We'll do another spin. Woo! Okay. All right. I'm, I'm fine. Everything's fine. Uh, what were we doing? I was going to go do raids over here on the other side of the map. Ah! Things are still happening. All the, like, little pings are still going off. Okay. 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 I'm good. I'm good. Here we go. Over here now. Okay. Yeah. Thank you guys so much! That was a crazy- that was a wild hype train. That was crazy. What the heck? <laughs> oh, lord. Look, there's a baby roadkill. Alright, okay. Raids. We're gonna head to this poison- wait, 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 wait. If we do one, two, three raids on our way, we'll do all these. So one, two, three, four raids. We'll start with this one. No, we'll go here first here, then we'll go back to the Pokemon Center, do this one and the grass one. Okay. It's a plan. What? Get! Get! You did it again? How many? That's like 10 subs now? Thank you so much! I don't know which way I'm going. I'm gonna hit a roadkill in the road. 
Pokemon student spins up top of tower, tragically falls. Witnesses claims they hear the trainer yelling, Hype train as they fell! Gym leader Iona brought in for questioning. Oh no! You want a big heavy choo-choo. It's the heaviest choo-choo ever! Almost! Oh, look at all these people that are getting subs. They're probably like, what the hell? Ah, I got the big jump now. Oh, that feels so good. Oh, the big jump feels amazing. Broken choo-choo! The choo-choo spin broken! Okay. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Who's in front of my team right now? Okay, roadkill. That's good. That's who I wanted. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. I'm gonna do things. Okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna do some things and it's gonna be fine. Oh, there's one of those bombardiers. Oh, this is on the other side of the river. Whoa! Okay, I fought these guys already. The choo choo was so good that it was broken. It's broken now. Let's heal up real quick before we go across the river. Your choo choo coal might be out for tonight. That is fine. That choo choo is incredible. Anytime there's a choo choo is incredible. I never expect that to happen. So thank you guys so much. Wait, I missed a gimme goal. I heard it. Where is it? It's under the bridge? Where is he? I thought I heard a gimme ghoul. No? Maybe it was that ghastly. Maybe I'm going crazy! I know there's one here. There we go, we'll take that. It was at the sign. Yes. There- I don't think there was one under that bridge. Or if there was, I didn't see it. Oh, I can't do the glide. Why did I do a big jump? There's no gliding. No gliding yet. Oh, I got a quick ball. That's nice. I looked under the bridge. I did. I promise. Okay. Uh, ice. We will use roadkill. Yeah, there's several that are hiding under the bridges for sure, Misha. Because I have definitely found them under there before. It's still going to be a couple more parts at least before we can evolve booty. Let's fight this guy. Go! Get him! Booty needs more booty to feel, feel fulfilled. Yes, booty needs to become bootylicious for sure. Get him, roadkill! Nice job, my little peeper pepper! Nope, just give me the rewards. Don't catch. We gotta start saving up these candies for when I need to inevitably level someone else up that's not on my main team at the moment. Or when I need to, you know, hit my level cap. Alright, this steel raid is the one we're going to next. See, now I can whoop! Pop up those little ledges. The upgraded jump is so much better than the basic jump. Hey! Pretty 
Apparently we got a new emote for level 5 hype train? Crazy. You got a stress bunny? Nickel, does the game think you're stressed for some reason? Whee! Now I'm gonna land on the rock! Okay, that would have hurt, like stepping on a Lego. Bunny! Free, what is that that you got? Is it a bunny? I can't really see it that well. Oh, this is a three star. Ooh, we can probably do a three star. Oh, Brie got evil bunny. I see. I think it randomly gives you the emote. Just get a random one. I might should have not used Roadkill on this raid. We'll see if I can do it with Roadkill. Yeah, I don't think we can do this. Fire type moves don't work on this guy. Look, watch this. Oh, -ho! we cannot do this raid. Okay, we're gonna run. We're gonna come in with somebody else. You got a squirrel last time, Bree. Hmm. Okay, we need a different Pokemon to do this raid with. It's Steel type. Uh, we'll use maybe Steve. Let's try Steve. You got a Choo Choo by your name. Yes, every you because you did you did the hype train. You got the Choo Choo. Yes, Kanth also has the choo-choo. You guys were in the hype train like crazy. You got the choo-choo. Hype train conductors. All aboard. Alright, let's try this again. Get him, Steve. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, this is quite hard. Three stars a high level for me right now, apparently. I've been burned. That Magnemite doesn't have an owner. Yeah, it does. Haley owns it. It says so right there. Uh... No, we'll do arm thrust. The loaded dice might help us pull this out. Hype trains happen, AJ, when people start giving you uh, bits and cheers and sub gifts because they're amazing and great and awesome people. I think the loaded dice might pull this raid out for us. It's level 3, which means no shield yet. Oh, this might KO us, though. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, we're fine. I am going to do a cheer. If it'll let me. Do a heal up cheer for myself, because I'm burned and I'm dying slightly. 
If I die, we'll lose time. So I don't want to do that. Look at all those hype emotes. Ouch! Ouch! Okay, we're gonna die and lose time, because I didn't heal up that much and I don't want to waste another turn. And I don't want to terrestrialize because then I'm going to die right afterwards. So what we'll do is we'll die. Is the plan. Then we'll come back. We won't lose enough time to let us make us lose the raid. Bree knows all the knowledge. Hive turns start when you use a certain number of bits or gift subs in quick succession. You continue to gift and cheer. It raises levels. It's great! Oh, I lost a chunk of time there. We're still fine, though. Strategic. So even though my... We're just going to terrestrialize for fun. We technically don't have to, I don't think. Let's do it. So in terror raids, even if your terror type doesn't... Like, I have electric terror type, but I'm going to use a fighting move. But it'll still do more damage, I believe, when I'm terrestrialized in these terror raids. Yes, I do get very flustered when people start doing that stuff. Oh, maybe it doesn't do that much more damage. That might have been a waste of time. Steve's got this under control, though. Look at that. We should get some good loot from this. Because it's three stars! Ah! Ah! I wish I could catch you, little Charcadet. Bye bye. See you later. Life bulb bear, go slap the child. It's a fire child. Look, we got all kinds of goodies from that. We got some medium experience candies. Ooh. A lot of the reason you helped do it is because I get so flustered. Aw. You guys. Okay, we did the raids over here. We're gonna fly over here. And we're gonna go do this dragon type raid. Do I have anything that's super effective against dragon? I don't think so. Um... I mean, I've got Unicycle. Dragon v. Dragon. We'll see. Is this raid, like, up and around? Yes. So I'm gonna have to go back through there. I should have fast-traveled to this watchtower. Back around through here, and then up the switchback. Okay, we, we got this. Yeah, this way. Okay. You must have used to give a bit of money to someone because it made a sudden noise that always shocked her. Always followed it up with heart check! Oh, jeez. Just a little, just a little check on how your heart is doing. If you're about to keel over or anything. I might as well do this grass terror raid first, since I'm in the neighborhood. Booty coin! Is it beating? Alright, we should be able to do this two star. You need to blush, flosh, and rinse, but you're not ready to crawl out of bed and uncuddle Henry boy. Ah. Henbot, boy, you've been gone all day. You didn't get enough Henbot time. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting a bit sleepy as well, not gonna lie. It's 11.08. Time flies in this game, I swear. I wanted to go to school.
Yes, Henry did hang out with your parents a little bit today, Bree. I saw a picture of him and your, him trying to cuddle up with your dad. Got to say hi to him over the phone. He was at his second or third family. Shadow sneak. Roadkill. We just need to land one more flamethrower. Come on. Roadkill! This is the opposite of when my girl was confused and sh my boy Truman was confused and he landed all of his moves. Roadkill's not landing any moves. There we go. There you go, Roadkill. Good job. AJ, you told everyone about Bree's lack of interest in baby Henry because she preferred Hugo. Well, you know. I think this is what it's like in a Pokeball. Maybe that's why there's always a Pokeball in the middle of the room. It's the portal back and forth. <sighs> you could be right. Alright, I did say we were going to go to class, so we'll spend a little time going to class after we do this last raid. We'll quit at like 11.30. He was so cute! Bree, I need to... You saw the... Bree, you were in the chat group... Okay. Where I sent a picture of the puppies we just got from that hoarding case, right? That thing was freaking adorable. I'm gonna climb this tower and see if the gimme goals respawned up there, by the way. They do respawn eventually. And I can get a bunch more coins if he's back. That little black puppy's freaking cute. One of my coworkers took him home. Or her home. But she, uh, I mean, yeah, there was a lot of, like, little Yorkie Maltese mix things. They were so matted and, like, not just matted fur, but matted with their own feces. Like, the mats were just clods of poop stuck in their fur. Oh, they smelled horrible. So... Yeah, I was. I don't think I really posted about this on Discord, but nope, there's no guy up here. I was at work until like 7.30 on uh, Friday evening because we got called about a hoarding case of 57 dogs uh, in the Colleen area. We did not take all 57. Another rescue took a few from Colleen Animal Services. But we took 27 of them. They were all very cute, kind of small, long-haired, like I said, kind of Yorkie Maltese mix things. Uh, don't be sorry. I mean, I'm sorry that they were in such bad conditions, but I actually felt very, like, accomplished and good after I stayed late at work because, you know, now they're all in a much better situation than they were in. But they were disgusting. They smelled terrible. Their coat was terrible. We spent a lot of time... We basically spent a huge amount of time on Friday evening just shaving them. Not even, like, a full shave down but just enough of a sanitary shave that they could actually like go to the bathroom and walk around freely can i have that i want this thing and you're like right next to it thank you no it was not you know all the dog poor dogs felt really bad for them they were all really nice dogs too it's a good thing you don't work in that kind of job. You would likely hit somebody. I'm like, you know, we're not in the directly... What am I trying to say? We don't directly deal with the shit people. We get to go... We just get the animals after the situation has been kind of dealt with by animal control. Because we're a rescue. We're not like the shelter. But, yeah. These people are... You know, we had a discussion at supper time about what what kind of person or what what people are thinking that end up with that kind of 57 dogs in the house and how disgusting their house has to be. I mean, those dogs, when I got home just from like shaving them and driving them around and holding them, I was like, I have to shower right now and put my clothes in the shower because I smell like shit and ammonia. Disgusting. Ugh. Anyways. But we saved a bunch of dogs. They're in much better... Much better place now. They're all gonna get good homes. 
We're gonna get an actual groomer to come in and like take care of them. But yeah, I was there late just like cleaning up, cleaning them up enough to be better. Like we were peeling mats off of those dogs that were the size of the dog's entire head. Bree, you should come volunteer with us this summer. Do things with the cats. Unicycle, great job, buddy. You haven't even been out at all this part, but you did a great job. Very nice, very nice. Okay, we did a little bit of raids. I'm not quite ready to do the Cascarafa gem, plus it's going to take a while. So we're going to head to Academy, and we're going to go to some classes. Uncuddling before you lose all willpower. Come on, AJ, you can stay for 15 more minutes with the cuddles, and then stream will be over, and then you can uncuddle. Just the voice of the devil speaking, telling you that. All right. I am a cuddle enabler. You're darn right. Elsa demanded cuddles earlier. Gotta give out those cuddles. All right, what class should we go to, you guys? We got a large selection. Biology, math, history, languages, battle studies, art, or home ec. Uh, my vote is for history or home ec. Or art. Home ec. Let's go to home ec. Can't said home ec. I like the home ec teacher. Let's do home ec. You'd like home ec with Mr. Saguaro? Yes. Class will begin soon. Don't be tardy. You're not a fan of Doc of Hassel? She does. There's a Gengar up at the desk with her during the nighttime if you go into class, but during the day she has different Pokemon with her. I see we have some energetic young ones in our class this time around. You may call me Mr. Saguaro. Why does the receptionist of the school have a Gengar? Uh, the Gengar's working the front desk, obviously. Your hair's wet, so it's extra cold out of bed. You should have stayed in bed those extra 15 minutes, AJ. Says <laughs> it's a bear. I mean, maybe. Your time here with me will be spent... Obtaining knowledge and skills indispensable for daily life. Many of you have left the care of your parents to live on here on your own, in the Academy Dormitory. I pray that the knowledge I impart to you will improve the quality of your lives, and the necessities thereof. Food, clothing, and shelter. That is a bear! He likes men! <laughs> Free with the snap gate our judgment. If anyone says different, they're only correct if they say he's bi. <laughs> of these three categories, I assume the most pressing and interesting for you all is food. When you eat sandwiches on your picnics, the HP of your party Pokemon will be restored. You'll also gain something called meal powers, which can provide all manner of benefits. For example, these powers can make Pokemon easier to catch, or increase the experience points that your Pokemon receive. There are Pokemon entries that say, if you're targeted by a Gengar... Do yourself a favor and give up. It's easier. You love the school. School safety. It's like Hogwarts. What's school safety? I think you will also find that the breadth of these effects can be expanded by crafting sandwiches of superb flavor. What's more, there's a certain something that is particularly important if we wish to receive meal powers with even more helpful effects. Let's see. Master Bog. Tell me. What must you keep in mind to receive even more helpful meal powers? 
my choice of fillings and condiments. I have to put my heart into it. This is a shonen anime answer. Uh, but the first one is correct. Perfectly correct, Master Pog. Perhaps you were already aware of this fact from having helped your family with cooking at home. Your choice of ingredients, including both fillings and condiments, is an important factor in gaining even more helpful meal powers. For example, using sweet ingredients in your sandwiches may help you gain egg power. Including numerous bitter ingredients, on the other hand, can gain you item drop power. Learning to aim for specific effects when crafting sandwiches will almost certainly make your culinary endeavors more enjoyable. Please be aware, however, that you can also receive meal powers by eating at restaurants. I must say that I would feel the utmost joy if you all learned much here in my class and came to better understand home economics. Our time together has come to an end for today. I bid you all farewell. Alright, classes are short. We still have more class time. What class should we go for next? He's gotta go home to his hubby. Alright, what class next? Bree is going in on art. All right, we're doing art. You'd like art with Mr. Hassel? Yep. Here we go. <clears throat> Greetings, I'm Hassel. I'll be teaching this art class. It is a pleasure to meet you all. Now, let me be candid for one moment. I imagine that many of you will forget all that you learned in this class once you graduate. After all, you don't need even a basic understanding of artwork, much less a refined appreciation of beauty for most exams or jobs. So, is my class a waste of time for you then? I think not. At least, I certainly hope it isn't. Think for a moment, all of you. What is beauty? Anyway, what makes something beautiful? The eye of the beholder. He's not looking at any of the students. <laughs> I just see him blankly staring ahead. His eyes are, uh... Kind of creepy looking, not gonna lie. Those paintings that you think of Crystal's Pokemon art class. Because, I mean, there's, like, little children in this class, Bree, so that's why. The Eye of the Beholder is what I'm gonna say. Interesting. Thank you, Bog. Oh, I don't mean to suggest there's a correct answer to my query. The important thing is that you all take time to think about it. Think about why we might find beauty in a flower, blooming on the side of the road, for example. Question why the sky is a different shade of blue in the ocean, or why the leaves change color. Ponder the windmills of Artisan and how they move. Contemplate the chilling bite of the waters of Cascarafa. Oh yeah, Nimona's in this class with me. I'm sure you will find that every little detail of your lives will seem more vivid, more impactful, if you just take a moment to stop and think. And I am certain that if you stop and truly appreciate the little beauties of this world... It will help pull you through the days where your studies have you exhausted, or when work has dampened your spirits. Yeah, like Arvin was in home ec with you. They go to class with me. <laughs> that's a great ditto, Greg. But it's a growl. Uh, yeah, ditto, that's what I was making. Ah, <laughs> oh, do pardon me for waxing philosophical. You don't need to understand all of that now. To put it simply... It is true that one doesn't need art to survive, but it certainly makes surviving much more enjoyable. Oral hygiene mission complete? Nice one, AJ. Mission accomplished. It is my hope that this class will add even a little bit of color to your lives. That's all for today. Next time, we'll try a more hands-on approach to appreciating beauty. It's more of an art appreciation class than an art class. You know what I mean? 
You're ready for your bedtime story. What bedtime story do you want, AJ? We still got more time to go to class, so uh, I was going to do a couple more. What class should we take next? Biology, math, history, languages, or battle studies? History! History it is! Story of the Cursed Tower and the Four Fools. Here we go. History with Miss Ryfort. Yes. We don't get that tower, that story just yet. Oh, that's the story that Nickel's in right now. I mean, you're not... How foolish are these four fools? We'll find out. Oh gosh, what accent should I give this chick? Hmm... Our voice. I'm running out of distinct voices for everyone. I just did British. I don't know if I can do a German accent. Hmm. Aussie. Channel my inner Steve Irwin. Um... Sure, we could be Aussie. I, I'll try Aussie. Crikey. I see we have some new students here with us today. I'm not good at Australian accent. This is going to be weird. So weird. I, I don't know if I could do Aussie. Crikey! Exactly. My name is Rifon. I'll be the one to impart knowledge of the past to your little minds. History is a wonderful thing. Truly splendid. The lives of our ancestors throughout history forged the path to the present in which we live. Doing the best I can. Today, you shall learn about the most mysterious location in all of Paldea, the Great Crater. As you're all aware, a massive crater known as the Great Crater of Paldea exists in the heart of our region. The area inside this crater is called Area Zero. In research of its geological strata and material, composition has shown that the crater is in fact over one million years old. It was long believed that a certain something rested at the bottom of this mysterious crater. Aha! Perfect timing to make eye contact, young bog. Answer me this. What exactly was believed to rest in the depths of the Great Crater, inside Area Zero? A Snorlax! Definitely. The dude in the picture behind her? I sure do, Nickel! We're gonna meet him in our next Pokemon playthrough! You can't really see his face, just his dumb hat! And we got, like, the old Pokeballs next to him. The ones that you have to craft out of apricorns and tumblestones. We're gonna get there, Bree. I don't want I mean, it's the professor from the Pokemon Legends Arceus is in the picture behind her. Friggin' Nick Cap wearing limp armed wandering moron. Aww. Just because he can't throw a Pokeball and he wears a dumb hat, Nickel. Uh, but treasure. Treasure is the answer to this question, for sure. It's Professor Levent- Professor Laventon! Heh. <laughs> that is correct! You're a surprisingly clever one, aren't you? I see you did your homework prior to coming to my class. That's right! Some believe that a treasure more valuable than anything else in this world rested in the depths of the Great Crater. So much for dreams of treasure hunting, though, as a lab has been built in those very same depths. Oh, before I forget, you would all do well to remember that the Great Crater and Area Zero are both off-limits to all but those who have official business there. Do not dare entertain the foolish notion of gallivanting off to Area Zero in search of riches. It's no place for children dreaming of treasure and adventure. 
Besides, if it were at all possible to investigate the area, I would surely be the first to do so. Uh, but Professor Turo's down there, like he already went, so... You're not the first to do- you just stayed here and you're teaching school. Like, uh... You didn't do it. The Forbidden Forest, exactly. Uh oh Is that the time already? I must have gotten swept up in filling your minds with knowledge. So we're gonna be going down there for sure. Oh yeah, Bree, this game is like mega telegraphing that we're gonna get to go down in the crater eventually. This ends today's lesson. We'll unravel more history's enigmas together next time. You can't wait for nightly bedtime stories on the farm someday. I'll read you guys books if you want. I like reading books out loud. All right. It's 11.29. We went to three classes. We're the best. Does anybody want to talk to us in the school? Yes. Everyone wants to talk to us. Oh my god! <laughs> Especially the sexy parts. AJ, I, I'm not good at reading the sexy parts out loud. I get all giggly. Ah, let's see. We already read the Violet book. Gengar turned into a Psyduck. Yeah, if you come during the day, she has a Psyduck. But if you come at night, she has a Gengar and there's little bats flying around back there. <laughs> I want to ride and ride on in the lobby. <laughs> I have the hiccups now. Guess it's time to quit for the night. Because <laughs> I have the hiccups. <laughs> Damn it. Yes, we'll save. <sighs> Breathe. Don't have hiccups. I read earlier today that hiccups are like the fish, primordial fish part of your brain trying to, like, gill breathe. <laughs> Don't know if that's true or not, but I read it. Okay. We did it. We fought only one thing tonight, major thing, but next time we'll fight more things. Sexy parts outline. <laughs> Reading sexy parts on stream gets rid of hiccups. That's what Nichols heard. Read the sexy parts for the stream. No, we're not reading sexy parts on stream. It's like a... It's... I don't know. Oh yeah, we did fight the Titan too. So we did fight two things tonight. We're making progress. We've got... How many more battles? Major battles to go? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... Ten gems, titans, and crews left to fight. Then we have the champions, the elite four. Uh, we have Arvin's final battle in that storyline. And for the star line, we have to fight uh, Director Clavel, and we have to fight Cassiopeia. <gasps> Le Shock! Pokemon sexy reading. We're going to read about some of those Pokemaniacs that we were talking about earlier when Bia was here. The Pokemon furries. My guy's like, no, I don't want to hear about Pokemon furries. <laughs> Anyways. Oh. Ah. I stayed so late that nobody that I know is really streaming right now. <laughs> what is my character's face saying then? Clavel, why don't we find him in the star line? You'll find out, Bree! Top 10 funniest moments of your life includes when you instituted the rule of reading sexy parts out loud. <laughs> your character's face is saying, yeah, I can go for some sexy reading. Oh, jeez. No, we're not doing sexy reading. We're going to end the stream because it's 1130. But thanks for stopping by, you guys. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Thank you so much for the hype train. It was crazy! We're gonna do a spin! Wee! Camera spin! Where's the sexy part of the library? It's probably behind the desk where I can't get to it. Restricted section! <laughs> tusk love Pokemon style. Great tusk love? Is that what it would be, Nickel? 
All right, all right, for reals though, we're gonna end the stream. Uh, tomorrow night, we'll be back for more Pokemon. More fighting. Probably not any reading the sexy parts out loud unless you guys bully me more into doing I don't know what I would even read out loud as the sexy part. What's the limit on what will get me Twitch banned? <laughs> Anyways. Thanks, you guys. Thanks so much for the hype train. Y'all are the best. And I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. <coughs> Bye bye! I'm dying! I didn't drink enough water! Okay, I'm alive! Good night! Bye bye! Good night! See you guys later! Tomorrow night, more Pokemon!